Hello guys and welcome back to the Minecraft Mon tutorial. In today's episode we are going to be doing blocks and items. We're going to create a new package called init and we're also going to create a new package called objects. Firstly in it we're going to create our item in it and our block in it. Firstly in item in it what we're going to do is do a public static final list then triangle brackets of item and call that items in all caps control shift over to import net on minecraft to item to item and a java.util.list is equal to a new array list of item and then open brackets and then semicolon at the end control shift over and import array list so this is going to be a list of all our items then you're going to want your item in the originally. So public static final item copper ingot or whatever you want. I'm just going to do copper ingot is equal to a new item base. Your base items, well, all items should start with item or blocks just out of blocks. And then this is the base item, so I'm going to call it item base. Then we're going to, want to create the class item base and put it in our dot objects. Sorry, harry.mod dot objects. And then I'll put it in the dot items. Going to extend item. Now, before we do that, in util, we're going to want to create a interface. So click the down arrow next to class and create interface called I has model. What this is going to just have is a public void register models and just put a semicolon into that as it's an interface and this is going to implement i has model i know it sounds a bit weird but it's actually just interface and then has model as a check now firstly we're going to want the constructor which has a string name in it we're going to want to set the unlocalized name to name, set the registry name to name, set the creative tab to whatever you want. We don't have our creative tab in this one yet, but you can set it to your creative tab from the previous tutorials. That tutorial is still relevant. I'm just going to put it currently in materials as I haven't moved my creative tab over to this mod yet. And then finally, the last thing you need to do is item in it dot items dot add this so we add this item to the list of items then we need to add the uninflated un methods the register models and you want to put client proxy dot register model and then inside of our now now inside of our common proxy first we're going to want public void register item renderer but you're going to have item item int meta and string id and we can just close this off and control shift o to import net.minecraft item to item then obviously the common the client proxy extends the common proxy so we are going to want to register item renderer on this override that and in here model loader dot set custom model resource location item meta and a new model resource location of item dot get registry name comma id give that a save now back in item base main dot proxy dot register item renderer as we can't call client proxy the item is going to be this the meta zero and the id inventory Inside of here, we obviously want to put the name. And here's something else that you need, do need to change from the previous version. All your naming schemes should be the type of the type of thing first. So in got, then underscore, and then the material copper. In got copper like that is the way you should register things. Now you might be thinking, how are we going to actually register these? We are going to go into our util and create a new package handlers. 
Then here, we're going to create our registry handler. We are going to want a public static void on item register. This is going to be a registry event dot register item and just call it event. And this is going to be a subscribe event. And the actual class itself is going to be an event bus subscriber. Since it's an event bus subscriber, control shift to input item by the way. Since it's an event bus subscriber, it means we don't have to reference it in our main class and it will look for all event bus subscribers when loading. And then it will obviously run the subscribe events. So put event dot get registry dot register. We could just register each individual item or we could click register all item in it dot items dot to array the second one new item array zero. So we are going to register all of the items inside of item. After we've done on item register, we now need to do on model register. You can copy the top of this and just change it to on model register. Change this to model registry event. Then do for item item colon item in it items. If item is an instance of I has model double open bracket. I has model item dot register models and also make this a subscribe event. So now we've done that, obviously we want our resources back. What you can do is literally just drag in the resources from previously. So assets dot hm, sorry tm, we're going to want the block states. I'm just going to drag everything that I've done in my, everything that I've done in my other mods into here. However, since we have changed the naming scheme, aha, it's a block state. But since we have changed the naming scheme, you will have to go and rearrange these so it's block copper, button copper, door copper, and so on. But I'm just going to leave that for now as I'm not doing that in this episode. Once again, new package, lang. I'm just going to drag all of my in us.lang in here, but I'm going to have to change this to item.ingot copper dot name is equal to copper ingot. We're going to want models. I'm going to take my copper ingot, change this to ingot copper. And also inside of here, we're going to be trying keeping all of our textures and models the same name. So ingot copper as well. I also need to change this to TM. And then textures, I'm going to drag in the copper ingot texture and I'm going to rename it to ingot copper looking at my the miscellaneous tab and scroll to the bottom and we find our copper ingot nothing special about it it's just a normal ingot but we have registered it using the new methods now we've done item in it block in it will be very very simple an advantage of this method of registering things is that um item in it and block in it are very very similar so we're going to create create an objects.blocks package and in our block in it, open item in it as well to have, take a look at public static final list of block called blocks is equal to a new array list of block brackets on the end semicolon. Control Shift O to import net.minecraft.blog.block, java.util.list, and also array list. Then a public static final block called, sorry, I just realized this is meant to be ingot copper, not copper ingot. Try and always keep the same naming scheme for the registry name and the name and the packages, everything. This should be block copper is equal to new block base, which is going to be firstly the string name. So block underscore copper then the material material dot 
iron. We are going to want to create the block base class, put it in dot objects dot block is going to extend block and also implement i has model. Then we're going to want to create the constructor string name material material. We're going to want to super material set the unlocalized name to name set the registry name to name set the creative tab creative tabs dot I'm just going to put it in building blocks then we're going to want block in it dot blocks dot add this and item in it dot items dot add a new item block this dot set registry name this dot get registry name control shift over to import material and then also add just go into your item base and copy register models it's exactly the same you don't want to change this to a item dot get item from block this we add it to the blocks and we add it to the items just like we did previously but in a much simpler way in my opinion so now that we've registered that's now it's rendered in your model register for block 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 in it dot blocks if block is an instance of i has model double open brackets i has model block dot register models control shift o to import block now you can copy on item register change it to on block register registry event dot register block and a new block zero with block in it dot blocks it's that simple now that's done Obviously, you're going to need to import your resources. You're going to have to change this to block copper, this to block copper, and this to tm, the lang, tile.blockcopper.name is equal to copper block. We're going to want models.block and textures.block, and I'm going to want to bring in my code. You're going to want the block model, copper block. Which you can also change to block copper. And also in here, this to block copper. And this to TM. Then the item model. You're also going to want to import this. Change it to block copper. And change this to block copper tm then textures just drag in your copper block texture my texture here as you can see is meant to be called block copper you look in the building blocks right at the bottom we find the copper block place it down and it works and the item works as well so if you have enjoyed this video or found it useful please hit the like button down below subscribe for more videos thanks for watching my name has been harry and goodbye